Hello, in this video I'll explain how to use the auto chroma key function in our mixers. Uh, today I have the HS450 but we have similar functions in the 410 and the 6000 mixer. Okay, so this is the multi-view out of the mixer. We have the preview screen, the program screen, then some uh, frame memory, uh, this is the MacBack chart and then on input 3 you can see a real camera image, it's a small puppet with a very bad black, uh, blue background and uh, you also see the key out, this is the key switching signal, it's interesting to see this signal by the way. Okay, what do we need to make a chroma key well first of all we need to say to the mixer that we will do chroma key so here on the left there is the key function and this buttons have a double function so when I push them again the display toggles between the two functions so first we go to key and we want to have chroma key not linear key so we set this to chroma then maybe you want to see the chroma key already on the preview bus this can be handy so we can switch that on now we need the chroma key uh, input and that is done with the delegation here with the arc selection bus delegation we select our input so I selected input 3 and that is the live image that come in from the puppet and we have no key yet so the key out at this moment you see the key out it was black becomes white because there is no key uh, chroma key setting done yet I push this button again and now we go to the chroma key page um, we select number one and there is auto composition and if we push F2 we will have an auto composition of the chroma key so the system will automatically detect the background the foreground the spill the face the color uh, all these levels will be set automatically and by the way I'll, if you see the background the blue background it's very bad because the texture we can see the texture of the tissue and that's not good at all also the there are shades and uh, the, the, the lightning is very ununiform so we will have a little bit of issues but I especially took this kind of background to show you how powerful the auto setup is I will just change the curtain a little bit oh still a too black area So it's best to avoid very dark areas because there you will have uh, no key, there is no chroma and no chroma keying is possible on those areas. Okay, now I push the button and oh, you see the chroma key. If I now ask to come the key, it worked quite well. So if I change the background to something active, now we see the result so the chroma key is not perfect because the there are shades around the head of the puppet as you can see in the original picture so we can clean up there by using manual functions for correcting the background and the foreground and changing the spill levels but that is not the intention of this movie i want to keep it quite simple anyway if we would have had a better background this keying would be auto composition would have been perfect from the first time to prove this I will change my key source to no this we cannot use of course because it's color bar this one so I push reset so we can start again so now I will use the Macbeth chart and the Macbeth chart has many colors so automatically this will be detected as the foreground and there is only uh, one 
background color possible that's black because that is the grid surrounding the color patches so that will be detected as our background and I will ask to auto compute on this so I do auto compute again auto computing and look it's complete and yes it the black background is keyed away by the key signal you can see the key signal it's the grid pattern and in the final output we can see that the the black is gone and can be replaced by our original background signal so to complete this i take one source with first of all we reset the auto compute and now i will take a source with a little bit uh, better uh, background uh, where are you there so now this lady has a not perfect but good enough blue background i ask auto compute again and as you can see we have almost immediately a perfect uh, chroma key even the little details in the hair are uh, perfectly keyed without any blue remainings so yeah that was it for this very short <laughs> video uh, i i try to explain as simple as possible because chroma keying can be very complex but as you can see by using the auto compute function can go amazingly fast thank you for your attention and your time bye bye